So, uh, Trisha, Trisha, not too long ago, Trisha was sitting just like you about uh, three months ago. So, uh, Trisha, before we start our session today, I'd like you to share your story, right, in the last uh 90 days here uh, first of all do a little bit background trisha um who are you how long you've been in business and stuff like that okay um well like rudy said i'm trisha and i got my real estate license two and a half years ago and i joined a company and they were very nice but the training just wasn't um really much of anything <laughs> And so you're just kind of put on your own. And they said, okay, well, um, I was still working full time as a dental hygienist. And so they said, okay, well, then if your only time to do office time is on weekends, then that's when you do it. So I would sit four to six hours on Saturday and Sunday. And they said, okay, if calls come in, answer them. So I did. And there weren't that many calls. And if people called in, they weren't leads. They were just asking for somebody in the office or I don't know, they didn't really go anywhere. So I did that for three months. And so I was working seven days a week and didn't make any money. It didn't go anywhere. And I just felt lost. So I said, I was burnt out. I was like, I can't work seven days a week like this and feel like I'm not progressing anywhere. So I quit. I kind of let it go. And I thought, well, real estate just isn't for me. So I continued doing hygiene. And then um, my team leader, Susan, who previously was also a dental hygienist, she actually posted on a site on Facebook. And my cousin saw it, who's a hygienist. And she said, hey, why don't you call her or see what this is about? So I did. And um, that was let's see, probably in July. And I started doing, um, you know, kind of like the checklist that we do when we join. And then August is when I started um, getting leads. And it has been crazy since then. <laughs> it's, um, I don't even know where to start. It's like, you get leads. I mean, the calls come in all the time. And I have just, well, the training, first of all, the training is you just can't get training like this anywhere else. So I don't think I would have been able to do anything. Even if I had been given leads from another company, I would not have, have done what I've been able to do without the training. Because number one, everybody is so helpful. You can put anything on the chat and people will reach out. Um, and anybody in the company that you reach out to, you know, personally, everybody is so, so helpful. Um, so the training is number one. I think even before getting the leads, the training is what really, really sets this company apart from um, just what I've experienced in the past. Um, and then obviously with the training, you get your leads and then you just kind of go from there. It really just um, spirals. <laughs> so, so, so Trisha, uh, when I was with, Coldwell Banker before ERA or Remax, uh, every company that I was associated with, Trisha, everybody promising leads, right? So, and when I say leads, uh, I remember the names is like Mickey Mouse, the number is 1111, you know, it's like, it's all like that. And many of, many of other real estate agents who's with us today, and if they, they know that when the company promising them leads, usually it's junk basically right now now trisha can you share uh, your in the last three uh, in the last 30 days here your closing because at the end of the day show me the money right because everybody claim everybody claim to be the best the, the provide the best resource training blah 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 but at the end of the day hey are you making money from this yes um, I had my first close. So this is my first transaction, my first escrow, my first everything. Um, I closed last Tuesday. So it will be a week ago today. Um, and it was 2.815. And um, yeah, that was through one of the leads that I got through the company. So it was a Zillow call. But um, yeah, I closed them a week ago and then I've 
just this past week, I opened two new escrows. So hold on, Trisha. I'm I'm trying to write down here. Okay. So you, okay. you you start you pass you pass everything. You qualify to receive leads and appointments here in August 2020, and mm -hmm. then you close last week 2.815 mm -hmm. in November 2020, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. then today today is today is December 1st 2020. How, what's in your pipelines now? Um, I have two open escrow in my pipeline. So two open escrow today, and what? Uh, mm -hmm. So all right. Um, how much money? So from two point eight one five. So what is this? Uh, how much money you get from it? Um, I think my checks in the mail, but it's probably it's going to be around thirty one thousand. And that's a net. That's your net. The reason we talk about net income here, Trisha, is because typically the traditional real estate agents they are talking about gross commission income. Right, and the emphasis is gross, <laughs> gross commission income because people who make a GCI gross commission income of one hundred thousand is basically broke, you know. So here, Trisha, you have no expenses, like zero, right? The only expenses you have is your MLS fees and your association fees. That's it. So you have zero expenses. So the income that you receive, this will be net income. So for you, Trisha. Uh, 31,000, that's 31,000. If I open up your checking account, that's 31,000, bam, right there. Okay, what about the two that's in escrow now? Uh, talk to me about these two. Um, they're both Zillow calls again, and one of them is for um, 515,000. And then the other one is for 4.925. Okay, so translate it to a dollar amount. So that's that's not that. I mean, so what is it, Trisha? Let's 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 do your math here for your Christmas December twenty by December thirtieth, twenty twenty. How much here? Uh, how much percentage here, Chris, uh, Trisha? Um, for the five fifteen, I'll probably make I think around five or six thousand. And then what about that's your net, right? That's after the split. Yeah. And then what about the 4.925? Um, like around 60, 63, somewhere around there, I think. And this is after the split, correct? Mm-hmm, yeah. Not bad. So, uh, Trisha, can you share with everybody, uh, so just describe your day-to-day -day experience here uh, in the last, since you qualified, since August. Describe the life of Trisha Cohen a dental hygienist, right? That's what that's what you did before we met. Yeah. What is a dental hygienist? That's the one that when I go to dentist is the person who prep me. Is that it? I clean teeth. <laughs> you clean teeth. Can you believe it? You make more money in December 2020, November 2020, than your dentist make in the whole year. That sounds too good. No, no, not that, but <laughs> <laughs> I definitely may have made more than I did my whole year of dental hygiene. Yeah. All right. So yeah. can you describe to everybody here, because we are just doing introduction with you, uh, just describe since August 2020 and today, the life, the day-to-day -day life of Trisha Korn. Um, well, every day, of course, is a little bit different, but calls come in all the time. So I'm constantly taking um, new leads. Um, finding out, you know, what they're looking for, what they want. Um, I'm showing homes. Um, that's the big thing is showing homes. And then um, like right now, because I have, you know, I'm in escrow, I have um, inspections, um, just trying to keep track of, you know, every, the whole escrow process. Um, but yeah, it's basically accepting calls, um, showing homes, and then, you know, meeting with clients, um, going through, you know, like our training, going through our VIP buyers and um, just helping them find what they're looking for. Trisha, what does this money mean for you, Trisha? So you, you are, by in the next, in the last 90 days, in the last 90 days, you literally net almost uh, 100,000 here, right? 90,000 something. $95,000 in the last 90 days. And this is your first year 
after being a dental hygienist, uh, have no experience in real estate, uh, but you are a very coachable person. I notice you always attend training, right? So, but, but let's talk beyond, let's go deeper than the money itself, Trisha. What does this money mean for you? What are you going to do with $95,000 by December 2020? What does it mean for you? Um, well, at some point I would like to buy my own home. So I'm going to be saving quite a bit. <laughs> I don't really plan on spending a whole lot at this point. Um, but it just kind of, the reason why I left dental hygiene was I just had gotten to a point where I felt there was no more growth. Um, I kind of had plateaued and I was making almost the same amount that I had when I first started hygiene. And I was looking at some of the women around me that had been working 40 years, 35 years, and they were making the same amount I was. And so this for me has just been an exciting and kind of growth experience. Um, not only, um, you know, for, uh, I'm going blank, not just in business, but personally as well. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's opened. I don't know. I just feel like if you work really hard, it can pay off. Whereas I always felt like I worked super hard in hygiene and, you know, I worked hard, but it didn't really go much further. Um, and so I just feel like here, I mean, I work harder and longer hours than I ever did in hygiene, but it pays off in the end. And it's, it's a different kind of hard work, um, but it's new and exciting for me as well. So um, I'm enjoying it. And last, last question from me, Trisha, before I open it up to everybody else. If they want to talk to you, mm -hmm. you just unmute yourself. Uh, so Trisha, you closed one deal uh, last week and you are two in escrow now. And what about uh, any active buyers, sellers? Like wh what's coming down your pipelines here? Oh yeah, I um, I honestly don't know how many people I'm working with right now, but there's there's a lot. I mean, I get new calls every day, and so it's kind of trying to find finding what their motivation is, seeing if they're going to be ready to buy in the next three to six months. Um, you know, hopefully having that talk, sitting down with them. Um, seeing what their heart's desire is, what we always say, finding out what their vision is, um, getting them in touch with the lender if they need to do that, and just kind of going from there. But yeah, I'm. there's a lot of other leads that I'm working with as well. So Trisha, James, next time, if anybody have questions, just unmute yourself, but I'll be a spokesperson for Mr. James Cruel here. So James asked a question, Trisha. He asked, hey, how did you get the clients, man? You are a brand new, like, so So, how did you get the clients? And so that's actually a good question, James, because here today in the next 60 minutes that you and I together, I'll be sharing with you exactly how Trisha, not too long ago, sitting just like you, we are the only real estate companies, James, that generate leads and appointments for you. But uh, I don't want to put mouth in your words, Trisha. Can you just tell the truth, <laughs> like how did you get all this, like where is all these clients come from? Are you door knocking, are you door knocking every day all your dentist friends? No, not at all. <laughs> um, James is asking, I'm an uh, outside agent and the leads all come through. So Rudy is extremely generous with everybody in the company and just in general. And so he connects us, he pays for us to get leads from um, Zillow from Realtor, and then we get a ton of leads into our company um, as well that are directly into our company. Um, my leads primarily that I'm working with right now, I've chosen to um, stick with Zillow. So those are just all leads that come from Zillow. So I get calls from them. And then again, um, we have training for all of this. Um, so there's scripts and everything that you can um, use to speak to the clients, which I find helpful because, again, this is all new to me. Um, but, yeah, it's all through the company. Um, Rudy connects us with Zillow and, um, you know, Realtor and then also through the company. And we just get all these leads calling us. 
So it's not us contacting anybody. Um, I don't make calls to random people at all. They all, they're all calls that come in. Yeah. Hey, Trisha, we call that reverse prospecting, right? So as uh, mm -hmm. when I first get my license, Trisha, in 2007, my manager broker uh, asked me to call, call, door knock. Right now, what you are experiencing, the clients are calling you. <laughs> Can you share a little bit? Because that, that, that paradigm of the buyers and sellers chasing you, Trisha, every day, it sounds too good to be true. I'm going to share with everybody our business plan today, right? But I wanted to hear from you first, because if I share, if I share it, it sounds like I'm making this thing up. <laughs> no. No. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I felt like when I joined in August, because so many in our so many people in our company do so well and we all share our stories good and bad we all help each other um so in on wednesday when we have our meeting we share like critical buyers if you're having problems with anybody but people also share their success stories and every time i heard the stories i was like oh my goodness this person just joined and they already have like three in escrow or they've already closed one and i felt like i was behind and I was talking to Susan who is my team leader and I'm going oh my goodness I was kind of starting to freak out a little bit and but I just knew that I liked it <laughs> and so I just thought if I keep working at it it has to somehow you know work out like it will just happen at some point and it really did but the leads come in you get the calls every day and it isn't like every single call is going to be a good lead. Some of the leads they call and they're either already 100% committed to an agent or they were just calling about that one, one property. They don't want to speak to you otherwise. I mean, I've been, you know, when you try to call back sometimes, you know, I've been hung up on a lot. It's not like, you know, every single lead is going to be, um, you know, a $30,000, you know, income for you. Um, but that's where the training comes in because you are able to weed those out and, you know, see if their vision and their timing and their motivation is all where it needs to be for you to really help them. And if it isn't, then you send them back to the inside agents and they follow up on them for you. So you don't have to do that yourself. You just send them back to them and they follow up until they're ready and then they'll send them back to you. So even like my two of the clients that I'm working with right now, um, they were kind of like, oh, we're not ready. They've come back now and I'm now showing them homes again. Um, but even my my client, now that I'm in escrow for four, uh, nine, they were, I, I forget when I started showing them, maybe not that long ago, maybe a little over a month ago. And they were like, oh, we're not in a hurry. We think we'll buy, you know, maybe March of next year. Um, and so I just said, okay, you know, no big deal. Um, and just kind of followed their lead a little bit, but still keeping in contact with them. Um, and then all of a sudden, I felt like I'm like, huh, they're sending me properties that they want to see and they're seeing what I'm sending them. So they're actually looking at them. Um, and it seems like they're kind of pushing this a little bit more. So I, you know, just kept in contact with them even more. And now we're in escrow. So sometimes the leads that you think may not be ready, um, they end up being ready. So I just never completely, unless they've um, very nicely told me off or not nicely told me off, um, I just keep in contact with them. Or at least I let the inside agents know, hey, I think this person may be ready in you know, a certain amount of time um, and have them follow up. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just uh, keep following <laughs> i just keep listening and keep going for it and you bring up you bring up a good point trisha the most at the beginning you said 
the lead are nothing uh, un unless you show up at the training every day. And I notice since the first time you and I met, Trisha, you never, never miss a training. All right, so congratulations on that. Anything else you want to share, Trisha? Anybody else have question before we, we begin the session here? Or you just want to talk to Trisha? It's up to you guys. <laughs> actually, I, I actually do have a question, um, if that's all right. Yeah. Is your show, Brandon? Awesome. I love it. Well, I appreciate everybody uh, and, and the invite today. Uh, Trisha, as you were talking, I, uh, I'm super happy for you. It sounds like you, you love what you do. Um, you were talking a lot about um, the Zillow calls that come in, and, and you said that Rudy uh, has a relationship with Zillow. Can you talk a little bit more about those calls that do come in? Um, and you say you like to work with Zillow more than the others. Is there a reason for that, or uh, can you just speak to the Zillow calls a little bit more? Um, there really isn't a reason. We Realtor.com is just one that we recently um I think Rudy recently got in contact with or we started a contract with. And so um just to keep it easy for us, they recommend that we pick kind of one avenue um for us to get our leads from. Um, at least for me, that's easiest because otherwise. Um, I don't think I would be able to keep up with all three because I am already so busy with just one. Um, when I started, um, we were, they were really, really busy with Zillow and kind of just needed um, agents to kind of help out in that area. And so that's just where I started. Um, and I liked it. And so I've decided to stay because you do have the option of getting leads through all, you know, three avenues. Um, but that has just been um, where I, I guess have, I don't know. I just, I, I like it. Um, Zillow, it feels like it's easy to follow because everything is um, online. So you have like your, your back office type of thing. Um, and you can follow all of your leads through there. You can communicate through Zillow if you choose to, or you can do it, you know, through your own email and cell phone. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that answered your question. No, that's not, no, yeah, that was awesome. I, I appreciate it a lot. Okay. Question for you. Can you hear me? Yes. You can hear me? Okay. Um, how do you, um, through the, all your answering of your possible um, productive calls versus your, you know, put on the back burner calls, um, what, how do you manage all the calls and, and, and then uh, you've identified some that are keeping you busy, maybe three people, but then more calls keep coming in. How do you harness the, the consistent calls that are coming in? Um, you just have to find your way of trying to be organized as much as possible. Um, like the back office in Zillow for me works really well because it keeps track of, um, like I make notes. So that's one thing that was helpful in hygiene was every single patient I had notes. So every single time I saw somebody, whatever I did, I always wrote a note and I do the same thing with this. So, um, Zillow has an inbox and every time you communicate with a client, you write a note on them. Um, and it stores all of that for you. So you know exactly what kind of communication, you know, you've had with that client. And then also um, your home still guaranteed realty has, we have sync, which is kind of our own back office through them. And we keep everything um, kind of organized through that as well. And it keeps all your clients, um, in there so that you can communicate with other people in the company. Like if you have a lender you're working with or your transaction coordinator, all of that, you can communicate through sync. Um, but yeah, just notes, 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 notes for everybody. And just trying to keep track of, um, you know, what's going on with each client. And then if you decide that they are not somebody that you probably will be working with at this time and maybe later and you want to send them to an inside agent, you can do that through sync. You just connect them um, with somebody and they will kind of take that, that lead over. So do you ever find that yourself? Your question? Yes. And then just a little extra. Did you 
find yourself in the position where you maybe have four or five good ones and, and you're like, okay, time frame limitations or, or do you give them back? Do you get a support team? How oh, do you... constantly. I yeah. mean, okay. yeah, I'm, even Susan was asking me today, she's like, do you have time to do this meeting? I said, yeah, my afternoon is crammed from about, my goodness, from about 1130 until six tonight, I am booked. And that's almost every day, every day, um, even tomorrow is going to be the same. So I have back to back showings with clients, um, especially now that I have inspections and everything. Um, so sometimes I'm up till very late at night when I get home to finally get on the computer, go through all my clients, send out texts, email, whatever. Um, so it is, you know, it is busy some days and then other days, you know, not as much, but I learned to, I don't know, you kind of just take each day as it is, just try to stay organized. I have my calendar um, and try to follow, you know, what, what each day has for me and not get overwhelmed by looking at, you know, far ahead. But um, I don't know, it's, it's great. You don't, even as busy as it sounds or you don't feel that crazy all the time. It's just, I think like anything in life or any other job, it's like, you're going to have extremely busy days or good days, bad days. And then other days you're going to be like, oh my goodness, you know, I have a little more time to do something. So it's hard to say, but as far as organization and just keeping, I think notes is like key. Okay. Trisha, I was about, when we do this webinar to invite everybody here, we were about to put how to net how to net an extra 100,000 in the, in the next 90 days. But it sounds too good to be true. So we changed the title to how to net an extra 100,000 in the next 12 months. It sounds more believable. <laughs> right? Because most real estate agents, Trisha, they, uh, they, they, they focus on gross commission income, right? Gross commission income and like people are making GCI, 100,000 GCI basically, right? Because the net, 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 after all the expenses, it's it's basically uh, outrageous. So, uh, any any other question for Trisha before we begin the before I begin some of the teaching here, or you rather listen to Trisha's story? Maybe Trisha, maybe your story is more interesting than my PowerPoint slide here. <laughs> okay, put it on the chat. How many of you want to be like Trisha? Net netting netting. Okay, net netting one hundred thousand in the next. I don't want to say 90 days, okay? In the next 12 months, in the in 2021, how many of you want to net? When I say net, I'm talking about in your checking account. If you open up your checking account, there'll be an additional 100,000 sitting there by December 30th, 2021. Just put it on the chat. Yes, I would like to net an extra 100,000. So that's basically what we're going through in the next 60 minutes here. I'll be sharing with you guys how Anybody, if if Trisha, a dental hygienist, <laughs> right, Trisha, with no experience in real estate, can net an extra ninety-five thousand dollars in the last ninety days in the middle of coronavirus, right? And the key here is you got to be coachable, right? If if you want to do it your own way, then it's not going to work. I like I guarantee you that. You know how I know, Trisha? How do I know if you do your own way, it's not going to work? Because you've seen it done before, and it no, because if, 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 if your own way works, if your own way works, then I will be going to your seminar. That's yeah. true. Right? Think about it. Yeah. Right. So I'm giving you a, a system here. Just copy. If you can copy, if you can be like Trisha here, you're gonna make a lot of money, right? Trisha is very humble. You know what humble means? Humble means you allow you allow somebody to coach you. Right, Trisha? Most real estate agents, they like to they like to prove themselves. I'm so smart. Mm -hmm. But you you allow somebody else who's been there to guide you. And that's why you are getting the result. So I just want to commend you for that. So I just want to make sure everybody know not too long ago, Trisha was just sitting just like you guys. <laughs> so anything else? Last minute question for Trisha before we begin the, the next 60 minutes. 
Hey, Trisha, con once again, congratulations. And I see your team leaders, Susan yes. Chase here, just joining in. Susan, uh, you want to say something here? Uh, uh, first of all, Trisha, Susan, you need to find 20 Trisha. Go back <laughs> go to those dentists and, 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 and get all their hygienists. <laughs> I will say, though, like, Susan is the best team leader. I've told her, like, I'm, I was thinking she was going to go tell me to, like, go find another broker, go find another team because I ask her so many questions because I feel like I am learning constantly. But um, no, she's amazing, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I feel like, you know, you're my, my little child or something and I'm just watching <laughs> you grow and blossom. Like, it's so awesome to see this because um, I think what, Zillow is the three months that you've been working it and then now all of a sudden all these things are happening for you and it's just it's amazing and it just makes me so proud you know to have you on my team it's just Susan if you were to describe the Susan because you've been in business for many many years uh, you've been yeah. with uh, Compass, Berkshire, mm -hmm. Hathaway you've been with many different big box brands right Susan if yeah. you look at Trisha here uh, if you were to boil it down let's summarize this because we need to go on with our programs here if you were to summarize if you were to boil it down Susan to the top three behaviors that everybody can copy what would you say the top three uh, so people can net an extra 100,000 net not gross net income in the next 12 months what would you how would you describe Trisha well, Trisha, she is a go-getter um, and she, she just does it. I, you know, I tell her to do whatever and she'll just do it. And she, like you said, she's on trainings all the time and she, she um, retains what she's hearing and learning and she implements it and look at the results that she's getting. So, you know, she's very courageous. I think that's one thing because it takes a lot of guts, you know, to leave a profession like she She's like, okay, I put my notice in and, you know, I'm going to quit and do this. And so she just basically just leaped. She just jumped. And oh, yeah, we don't take, we don't take part-timers here, right? First thing you want to do when Trisha met you, you're like, hey, first thing, you got to quit your job. <laughs> and then what's the second thing, Susan? So the second thing is, um, like what you said, just be coachable. Um, because, you know, I do have feedback. I've been through a lot of different scenarios. And I can help her with through the negotiations and the process and all that. And, you know, to have somebody fight me on, on the minutia will hinder the whole process and the outcome. So, you know, she's really, really good about um, just being coached. And, and that's a great quality. So courageous, coachable, and what's the last one? She's committed. <laughs> I'm going to do an iteration. She's committed. <laughs> <laughs> did, you just make things, did, you, did you just make this thing up, Susan? I just, I just made it up. Yeah, you spelled out those two C's. So I have to find the third C. So, um, but she's committed to this, you know, like you don't just leave a profession and and just decide, you know, willy nilly to, you know, it, it, does it work or not? No, she's committed to this 100% or more. And you can see just with how she engages with her clients, how she's engaged with the system and you know, I'm just so happy that, that she decided to, to do it. Yeah, you are right. You are right, Susan. You have to commit. See, most people, Susan, they make a mistake because I want to try this. Anything in life, if you are not committed, you will fail. Same thing with marriage. How do you feel if you talk to your husband and wife? Hey, honey, let's try this relationship. <laughs> Anything in life that's good is as a result because you are committed. Yeah. That's a wise, uh, thank you so much, uh, Trisha. Congratulations uh, for your success. And this is your first 90 days. I cannot wait for your 2021. I wanna invite you back here again in December, 2021, Trisha. All right. There's gonna be a lot of good stories in the next 12 months. And Susan, thank you for being courageous, committed. And what's the other one? Coachable. Coachable, yeah, coachable. <laughs> yeah, Susan, and, and the reason your team is co uh, courageous, coachable, and committed is because because you, you, is, you, you uh, Trisha is a reflection on you, right? So I want to congratulate both of you uh, for being very coachable. All right, guys, let's begin with our session. Thank you so much, uh, Susan, for Thank sharing. Thank you. Okay, let me see. How do I